We're going to take a look at how to create multiple outputs for the production voices piano. So first thing we're going to do is whatever program you're using, you want to make sure that you select the multi-output version of contact. So here we go, contact, multi-output. And it also has to be uh, several stereo tracks. So I'm going to use multi-output 16 times stereo. So at least I have those stereo tracks. And then let's load up our instrument. I can get it up to work here. We'll go to the browser. Production voices, there you go. It's just going to load up the instrument. I'll make it a little bit smaller. So to get the multi outputs to work, we have to choose the edit. So I'm going to edit here. And then I'm going to turn off the map editor. I'm going to turn on the group editor. With the group editor, we have to turn off edit all groups. We only want to hear one at a time. So there's edit all groups. And we'll start with the hammer mics. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we'll go down to the output. So right down here it says output default. And then you can choose all the outputs that you have depending on your configuration for your outputs that are viewable. So for example right here it says stereo 1-2. I don't know why I don't have the 3, but you'll have to create each of these channels if they're not there. So all you have to do is assign them. So if I go output for that to be stereo 1, that's great. So then that's what we have, hammer mic. So mid side, select those and we keep going through. This is group two of four. Output instead of default, you just choose the next available one. Same thing, room. We'll scroll down. Go to the next available. And there we go. And then lastly, space bar. And then uh, here we go, output, whichever the next channel is. Uh, and this you can see on your outputs the moment um, you start playing something. So see each of those outputs uh, from the and in order to make that work within logic or whatever program you have you have to make sure that you have also set up the program to do so in logic it's quite simple um, pardon me we have to go to the mixer page and the mixer page you have this plus button you go plus 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 so you get all the notes that you need so I have the cap box keyboard and I start playing you should be able to get Four. These will each be the microphone pairs. So that's how it's done. Multi output.